Looking at Iowa State, uh, you've now seen spring practice. You saw the spring game. I don't know how much we can take from that. Uh, obviously, the vanilla defense is usually presented to the offense to try to create uh, some some positive vibes offensively. But just uh, in, in what you were able to take in and some of the storylines, do you feel like Matt Campbell and his staff accomplished what they were looking for uh, this March and April? I, I think so. Asking him after the practice, obviously, like most coaches, uh, feels they still have a lot of work to do in the 16 weeks uh, between uh, now and when fall camp begins. But I think going into year two, you, you're going to start to see a lot of the talent that Matt Campbell has recruited start to take over. Obviously, they bring in uh, veteran guys like a Joel Lanning, who is going through a position change. But then they also, on the offensive side, have a guy like Alan Lazard, who could have left for the NFL last year, probably would have been a late round pick, but now he has the opportunity to come back and possibly be one of the best uh, wide receivers in the Big 12, maybe sneak into the second or third round of the draft. If he has a really great year, we could see him as a late first rounder. He's got that 6'5", 230-pound frame that uh, most NFL teams salivate over. Almost, I don't want to say he's like a Calvin Johnson, but he's, he's built in that mold as far as being that big-time wide receiver. Not the fastest guy, but really can be a game-changer as far as going up and getting the ball. Um, the big question with Iowa State, I think, is going to be the defensive line, as we see so often in college football. That really can kind of dictate how well your defense does. Um, but just being up in Ames and looking at the team uh, in spring practice, the guys that Matt Campbell has brought in actually look like a defensive line. I know before Iowa State has kind of struggled bringing in some of those big recruits, have had to depend on JUCO transfers a lot, but some of the guys that he's brought in, they look the part. One guy in particular is Matt Leo, uh, an Australian uh, guy that's coming in. Uh, very raw, has only been playing football for a couple years, but he looks the part. Samoan, very much a big, big build. Uh, it'll be interesting to see him kind of work his way into the rotation, uh, starting off in the in the fall camp, uh, which what we hope uh, he'll make his way into some starting time. Um, you know, within the first part of the season. 